last process viewer viewers hopefully i'm here at the uh, play expo in manchester with nice you. michael nice to meet you guys and wolverblade that's correct Wolverblade. Wolverblade. now i did see this running last year you but did unfortunately indeed. we weren't able to get a video on camera due to the fact we lost the microphone oh dear <laughs> this time we have microphone <laughs> now it's a sideways scrolling beat em up. That's correct, yep. And it's your dream. It is indeed, yeah. Um, basically, since the old days of the 16-bit era, you know, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Final Fight, uh, when that when that gen died and moved on, it kind of left that, this genre behind. And uh, it, this has always been my favorite genre since I was a kid. And since we don't get any more of them, We've had a couple over the years, Scott Pilgrim, Castle Crashers. Um, there's not been many to talk about. And I figure if they're not there, then I should realise my dream and make my own. So, uh, yeah, fill the void, create your dream. Absolutely, yeah. And it's not just the game style that's your dream either, is it? No, I mean, I'm a, I'm a big history buff. History geek's probably the word, really. <laughs> that's much more accurate. Yeah. Uh, I love this period. I love the here. Well, I'm losing my words. I love the period of history which is ancient Britain and when Rome invaded Britain and the story of the Britons fight against Rome which lasted for 300 plus years and I just find it such an exciting period of history with so many amazing tales and I want to try and tell some of that history within a game. Uh, I think it's just such an amazing setting, so many amazing things to pull out and it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's just, uh, I, I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bit of vacuum that piece of the UK history because it's not covered by anything really. No. I mean, Black had at best touches upon it. And that's even that was like quite a long way forward. Yes. But, um, the only thing we've had is a bit a couple of movies when uh, there's the book The Eagle, uh, The Eagle of the Nine, that's the book. Right. Uh, and a few other stories around that uh, that were inspired by that came around. Um, a couple of those got translated to films, but as far as games go, it's never been touched on in games, you know, and, and the thought of having these, you know, tribal, northern tribal warriors defending their land from the, the oncoming Roman invasion just just explodes my little head full of creative ideas and I thought it's a great setting for my favourite genre, side scrolling beat em up. So. Oh, beat -up yes. And it is rather nice. Thank it's you very much. It's got a very we discussed this beforehand about the art style. But to me and my generation, I'm thinking to Lancelot and, and Captain Pugwash. But uh, because of the uh, sort of cartoon animated component nature of the animation. Yeah, sure, sure. No, I guess I see where you're coming from. Um, lots of people have their own like interpretations of what it reminds them of. I think um, the cartoon, a cartoon style is quite accessible. You know, the, the subject's quite serious, mm. but the way in which it's told is in a bit more of a light-hearted way. So it uh, just makes for an interesting, interesting contrast. Yeah, it does. And it's also just the way I draw, <laughs> the way I paint. So <laughs> you know. Paint. Well, there you go then. I'm limited by what my hand can create. So. <laughs> Now, obviously you're playing as the ancient Britons, yep. and you're actually fighting historically in the correct time period. Yep, 120 AD. 120 AD, and the correct battles and venues for said battles. That is correct, yeah. I mean, there's, there's only so much that historians know of this period, so um, a lot of it is interpretation as well. So we have a lot of historical facts on this subject, we have a lot of historical theory. Um, so that's what I'm using is a mixture of those and what I think best fits, you know, the story. So, yeah, um, I'm quite happy for anyone to pull the history apart because I have spent so much time researching that uh, I'm confident that I've got what bits I've tied into history correct. So I'm pretty uh, sure you've been to the British Museum, haven't you? I've been everywhere. I, I have travelled thousands of miles. I've even been over the highest mountain pass in England to find the most remote ancient Roman fort in Britain. Not many games can say they've done that in the name of research. No, not really. <laughs> I also drove along the edge of a cliff edge where the drop was sheer and I barely could even see the bottom. It was quite terrifying. So Yeah, actually that would be. I'm quite sure well, that would fit in the game actually, but yes. I'm looking forward to the drive by level. Yeah. yeah, you're getting a Land Rover part way through, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Fast forward 2,000 years. Yeah. yeah. To some fool on a mountainside trying to re recreate a, t a period of time. So. <laughs> now, it's going to launch on PC and Xbox One. Yes. That's under the initial launch. Yeah, that's the initial launch, which will be around March, April next year. Uh, that's our plan, we hope. Um, and then we're looking at PS4 and Wii U as soon after that as we can afford to do it. I mean, it's an indie game, it's self-funded, so uh, it takes kind of as long as it takes. But uh, yeah. the game itself is kind of complete almost now, uh, the core of it. So all, the le all eight levels are in there, and the levels are quite huge. So there's a lot to those. Um, all the characters are in there, uh, all the bosses are in there. 
we're now at that point where we're stitching it all together, we're getting all the cutscenes of the story all tied in, so it's all, yeah, we're at that yeah. final so the, 10%. All the different cogs are fitting together to form the that's whole. That's it, that's the one, yeah. yeah, yeah and before we start, you say, it ain't going to go out the door until it's ready. That's right, and it's, I mean, it's been my dream for more years than I can recall, so I'm not going to rush it out unfinished. Uh, we will, we're just going to be polishing this thing until... So the end of days. Well, hopefully not the end of days. Till April. April. <laughs> and then we can talk about a sequel. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Play the Romans. No! <laughs> You'll carry on playing the Britons, still fighting the Romans. Yeah, it went on for 300 years. So. All right. Part two continues on. Part three, part four, part, part five, five, part six. The following year, the following yeah. decade. Yeah, it's actually good. Now, the regular viewers, or viewer, hopefully, well, viewers, there's at least two of us watching it. Uh, no, we haven't. We end on the question. Okay. Shoot. Next, next we get a fancy music and a, a montage coming in. All right, okay. okay. I'm not nervous now. Aren't you? <laughs> oh, I should be. <laughs> right, the question. Okay. Oh, question. Now, question of all questions. Okay. Drive. Mega Drive. Is it Mega Driver? Mega Drive. Mega Drive. Uh, I love. Uh, That's I lo where all the beat emotes were, wasn't it? Uh, back then it was, yeah. Um, well, initially, they, SNES did a final fight, and Mega Drive did get it with the Mega CD, I guess. But um, yeah, it, only because I had the Mega Drive first, and I just fell in love with that machine. And to be honest, all this goes back to my first viewing of Streets of Rage. My friend John Ramsey, when I was at high school, uh, he, he got a Mega Drive when they first came out, unheard of, they were so expensive, and he got Streets of Rage, went round to his house, switched it on, and I remember seeing it, my jaw just hit the floor, I didn't even want to play it, I just wanted to look at it. The explosion like, of the colour and the sound. Oh. It had a very, a very sort of, uh, like a tinny bass. It was amazing. It was yeah. just, the whole package just amazing. And I think from that day forward, I was just sold on side scrollers. Yes, he just yeah. wanted to hit people. Yeah, maybe I did. <laughs> virtually. Virtually. Yeah, <laughs> virtually. Yeah. I'm not an aggressive person. <laughs> Excellent. And that's Wolverblade. That is Wolverblade. And you can find out more on your website, wolverblade.com. That's correct, yep. Yeah. You're more than welcome. We have a great blog on there, which we try to update fairly regularly. We do really insightful blog posts. So if anyone's interested in the indie development side of things, you can learn all kinds of things on the blog. So. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Thank Cheers. You. Bye.